this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. And today I wanted to go over real quick about your goals and why we want to review them. And this is a basically a good way to stay on track. So I've got <laughs> my drawing here. I was drawing with the mouse instead of with the tablet. So uh, this is what we're going to deal with. But it's a, a, you know, a funny drawing, but it's meant to be a somewhat serious topic because a lot of times, you know, we have these great ideas. That's what the exclamation points here are meant to represent. We, you know, either have a goal we want to attain, you know, it's a really good idea, it's a neat project, but then over time, right, like with anything, you know, we kind of forget about it. And, you know, this is the ho-hum face kind of, mm, yeah, things are okay, but, you know, maybe you're not as interested or, you know, you don't really... Um, you don't have that same get up and go that you do when you set the goal. So a couple ways you can go about this um, is that's why you want to review them. When you review your goals, you're, you're motivating yourself. You're also reminding yourself about why you're doing the work that you're doing. Because a lot of times to get to the goals, we have tasks, right? You have these intermediary uh, milestones, these things you need to take care of um, that maybe aren't as interesting as the goal itself, at least to you. It's, it's not the benefit, right? Because generally when we set these goals and we use, you know, what we call SMART goals, the specific, measurable, um, attainable or achievable, um, realistic, and then time bound. So we want to set goals like that. And then we go back and uh, we review them. So that we remind, oh, yeah, you know, the goal of, you know, getting five new clients, uh, you know, for $10,000 in monthly recurring revenue. Um, that's a, a goal, but it's also a big benefit. Maybe it's a milestone for your business or it's a personal goal. Um, again, this could be just about anything, but generally that's the way we look at goals is more benefit. And then we, over time, lose sight of that and get mired down in, in the day to day. Um, and we don't see that as a benefit. So um, I'll go over a little bit of how to actually do this in terms of something that I use. You can do this with just a This is just a, a PDF from the Best Self Journal. It's a tool that I use. It's a daily journal. Uh, but includes a lot of extras, and there's uh, that includes goal setting, the 13 week roadmap, kind of around the idea of a 90 day plan. Uh, but you could do this with any journal you're using, or um, you know, however you want to set up your daily review. If you're, if you're not doing that, I highly suggest that you you start doing it because part of having a daily review is reviewing these big goals. Okay, so it's not important to spend a lot of time here on what they're doing. Um, but one of the things of using these journals is you write a result goal. What's something you want to do? Again, this could be um, you know, let's say another $10,000 in client income uh, per month, and you want to achieve that in 90 days. Or it could be, um, you know, a sustainable weight loss goal or just about anything. And, you know, it's a big goal and is, it needs to be achievable in 13 weeks. And then why is this important to you? And then you start breaking this down into progress goals. These are kind of the big milestones, like what three things have to happen to help you get to that big goal. And then you take these progress goals and break them down further into actions or tasks. These are more um, you know, action oriented thing. Let's, let's take the customer. Uh, you want to bring on five new customers in the next 90 days, then you might need to send out, um, you know, 50 prospecting emails. Okay. So that would be an action that would help you reach the milestone that would get you to your goal. And then making this part of your daily review. Okay. And so that's why I said having a daily review is really important because that's going to help you stay on track and stay focused. Because part of that is reviewing this, okay? At the beginning of the day, sit down and say, what is uh, my, my, in this case, 13-week roadmap? What's my big goal or two or three? Um, that's about as far as I would go. The, again, it kind of comes back to focus. Um, but let's say you have a couple really big goals. If you look at that each day, that just helps you mentally stay focused. And then that will remind you as well that, oh, you know what? I need to be focusing on the tasks that help get me to that goal. So these other things that are popping up, maybe they're not as important. I can either delegate those, um, you know, delete them or put them off until the next 90 days, something like that. So hopefully this will help you. I think this is a, a great way to look at this and to remind yourself um, that there's a really important reason to continually look at your goals. And that's to help you one, mentally focus on them and then the tasks that support that. Um, and then just it's part of, you know, human nature. We tend to wander over time and you need to pull yourself back and say, okay, yep, that's why I'm working.